the way that observation works with a camera is an extension of your own eyeballs, but with limitations and with a frame. So you take this like additional eye around with you. And I started with that, that we're basically taking a journey into a place that we've really never seen before, even though we've seen it a thousand million times, our block or our backyard of the school. We've been looking at um, different pictures and we've been learning what, um, we've been learning about cameras and um, like we've been looking, um, we've been learning about light and um, how to make our picture look better and more interesting. We started talking about photography and we started talking about the role of an artist. So as a group together we started off with having conversations and looking at other people's photographs and talking about what those meant and what those look like and what kind of information they were communicating. We were like taking pictures when we go like on the nature walks and stuff to 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 not to instead of just observing them, we want to like capture the image. That we use viewfinders, which is just a simple piece of paper with like a two inch square rectangle cut in it, and that becomes a practice of how to use a frame. So when you are taking it and saying, what is that focus? What, do, what story do I want to tell? And which piece of all the stuff that's around me could properly tell that story? So it was very fun learning from Faith because she was showing us, like, she was, like, encouraging us that while we took pictures to see, like, what would an artist do? Like, take it from a different angle, like, make it seem more interesting than it really is, like a flower. Everybody sees a flower every day, but like being an artist, you could like paint the flower from an angle that shows like a background so that it makes it more interesting for them to look at. Well, so what I was observing, of course, were the children. I was observing children observing. Um, and I saw them, I saw them look at their neighborhood differently. I saw them as like they were learners instead of just the children that I see in the neighborhood. How do you tell a story about what's around you that other people might have never seen before or that you yourself have probably never noticed before? Such as the underside of a certain kind of rock or the way the sidewalk crack looks that has a little particular kind of special plant growing out of it. You bring, I mean, it, it's very basic. It's You're focusing on certain things in your creating a story within a frame. You're communicating information through that eyeball, through that lens. I learned from Faith how to like, how to take a good photo, like by like looking at it a different way, like making it look like, like you've never seen it before, but you see it all the time, and just by like changing the angle, or like from seeing it from a different position. I think my favorite moment were all the times that the kids would run up to me on those walks and show me their camera and they would tug on me and look, be look, 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 look at this, look at this. And, and to see that they had understood what we were talking about and, and done it and found excitement of their own in it. And they'd say, look at this shot. And it had, you know, so many different components in it. It's really surprising to see. Um, or not surprising, but it's just really wonderful to see everyone's different eyeball, magic eyeball, and what they come up with, the result of that. Well, I think that, that what's interesting for me is I knew from the beginning that the most valuable thing that the children would get out of it were relationships with adults and deeper relationships with all different kinds of adults, not just teachers. Um, what I didn't know is that it's the best thing for the creators too. Uh, really, I think it's just an exercise in, in looking at the world and, and seeing what's there. Just the power of observation being so important um, in, in science and just the, the world around us. We observe every day and observing isn't just even the eyes, it's the ears, and it's the nose, and it's, it's the touch, it's sometimes even the taste. And, and being able to you know, expose yourself to a lot of these different things and, in a quality way and really get a, a handle of what's going on out there is very important. It's, it seems like a luxury that a certain select group of kids gets to do a project like this when it should be everyone all the time because you can clearly see the effect that this, that when you know, creativity is allowed to exist freely, um, and I'm not talking about creativity like you know, the kids that do know how to draw 
get labeled as being creative, where really this is like a completely holistic creativity that every student has access to within themselves of just being, of existing in space and observing the world. It's good to observe things so you, you learn more things about those animals and facts about them. I think it was important because to like, to see stuff that, that we like pass by it like almost every day, but we've never took it, we've never really taken the time to, to, to take like time and observe it. And so it was, so it was important because like, I saw some things that I've never even seen before and I pass by there every day. You should um, take time to look at things and um, usually when you walk down the street, you just you just see that, oh, that's a tree. But when you're observing as an artist or a scientist, you really look at it and you see um, the characteristics of it. Right. We just found out there's a lot more in our neighborhood than we thought. Um, so we're learning like to take the time to look at stuff that like when you walk by something you wouldn't normally like go down and just like observe it but we're learning to do that because we are learning like how, why it's important to do that. With that there's no right or wrong answer to observe and when you're walking along the street look around you and listen.